Green and NEISD helping to 3D print face shields. Normally our 3D printers would be used for lessons, but we're doing our part to help out as much as we can. So what happens is first we say, uh, use the, the file that was created by a local engineer. It's basically the headband portion of the face shield. And we put the file on a USB into our 3D printer, press a couple of buttons and it starts printing. It's gonna print one per hour, so we can hopefully make at least eight per day, but we're definitely aiming for more. Um, it all kind of started from our Bear County uh, commissioner who brought it to our superintendent's attention and we were more than happy as librarians and STEM teachers, engineering teachers to all jump on board and start help 3D printing to make as many as possible. It's absolutely a real world application. A lot of our students have printed like models of like hearts for science or even had some theater students who printed um, the little set design for their upcoming performances. So there's a lot of different ways that we can apply it, but this, especially in terms of health and our whole community keeping everyone safe is a great real life lesson. And library services at the district level does a really good job of training us and making sure that we're prepared. I'm honored to be able to help. I know that our healthcare workers um, are risking their lives every single day. So if I can do this a little bit, it means a lot to me, especially when I consider that these are my neighbors that are helping um, those that have become sick with the virus. So it means a lot to me. It's, kind of, it's definitely an honor.